guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing like a summer get ready with me peachy kind of look. This color that I'm wearing right now is kind of like the inspiration for the whole look. So in this video, I'm gonna be trying a few new products that are affordable or drugstore, and um, we're gonna create a nice peachy look. I just did a fresh coat of self tanner last night, so if I'm looking very bronzed in my body, that is why. I've been outside in the sun a lot this summer, but I feel like using a self tanner can really help just like even out your skin tone and make it look a little bit better, you know, kind of like cover up any tan lines that you have going on. So I'm gonna be showing you guys a little quick self tanning routine because I've been using a new product since my last video. I've been loving it and it is available at the drugstore. You can get it at Walgreens. It is the Bondi Sands Aero Self Tanner. So Bondi Sands is going to be sponsoring this video, but I am obsessed with all their tanners. This is my go-to currently. It's super lightweight. It's a deeper in bronze color. It also dries really quick, which is key in the summertime because you don't want to be like sweating in your bathroom waiting for it to dry but it's really good and it lasts a really long time on the skin definitely one of the longest lasting self tans i've ever tried which i love and it fades beautifully in the past i stayed away from foams generally just because they dried out my skin but this one is really nice and hydrating it has vitamin e and Yohoba oil, I think that's how you pronounce it. So um, definitely check this out. It's at Walgreens and online right now. So I'll show you guys a quick little snippet of me applying it. It's super easy to apply, never have any streaks. I also wanted to mention the other two products I use with it. I love the Bondi Sands Gradual Tanning Milk. This extends your tan, or I also really love to use it on my hands and feet to just get a really flawless application. I don't apply this to my hands or feet ever. I just use this and it gives it perfect color and never looks like too splotchy or patchy or too dark so i love that and then another thing i love to use is the bondi sand self tan eraser this is really good for removing your tan obviously it gets rid of your tan without having to really scrub your skin you know raw basically so you just put it on leave it on for like five minutes and then rinse it off in the shower and your self tan goes down the drain and it's just very very simple and easy to use This is the after. So now into the makeup. First, I'm gonna be starting off with my skin and I'm gonna be using this primer from Physicians Formula. I love this. It's just like a little mini guy. It is their Spotlight Illuminating Primer. I've used this quite a bit in the past and I love it. And I'm gonna be trying it out with a foundation also from Physicians Formula, which I have not tried yet, but I've been wanting to try it. I finally picked it up. This is their Healthy Foundation. It has SPF 20 Brightening Complex for all skin types and I have the shade DW2 because I am pretty tan right now so I'm hoping that these work for me but I'm gonna go ahead and apply this primer I love this primer it's illuminating and it blurs your pores and hydrates your skin and makes your makeup last longer you can see instantly adds a nice glow and the scent is kind of like argan oil smell. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with this foundation. It does have a doe foot applicator, which I did not know. I thought it was gonna be like a pump. So hopefully I like it. I'm just gonna apply that much. The color looks like it's gonna be a pretty good match to my body, obviously not to my actual face. And this brush is from Koki Cosmetics. It's like a dupe for my favorite Tarte one that I love and use all the time. So this actually blends really, really nicely. And it's kind of reminding me of like the NARS Radiant Longwear kind of. And the coverage is really nice too. Like I don't feel like I really need, even need to go back and add any anywhere. So that is good. 
Next, I'm gonna be going in with two concealers because this one that I love, this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect. I love this one. I have it in the shade 140 Pure Beige, but I think it's gonna be a little bit light, so I'm gonna mix it with this one. This is the Pacifica Natural Minerals Liquid Cover Concealer. So I have not tried this yet, but I feel like the combination of these two should be a pretty decent match. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of this. And this is kind of peachy, so maybe it will color correct a little bit. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of the Milani. I feel like the color of those two together made a really nice match for me. I do feel like the Pacifica is definitely not full coverage because I use more of that than the Milani and the Milani definitely has more coverage. So I'm going to go back and add a little bit more of the Milani right in my like bag area and also just a little bit on my nose okay so the next if you guys have been watching me recently you know that I've been really loving like cream products so I'm really excited to try out these sticks from ColourPop I'm thinking they're supposed to be like dupes of the nude sticks so I think I'm gonna go in I don't know if I want to use peony or poppy I love the name call me big poppy like hello I love Biggie Smalls or should I use peony for your thoughts let me take a little look here. Okay, so that is a little bit more pink than I wanted. I wanted more of like peachy. So maybe we will go with the Call Me Big Poppy. So we have Aloha, Under Pressure, and Bullseye. Wow, so pretty. I don't know which blush color I wanna use though. Goodness gracious. So I'm just gonna take some on my fingers and we're gonna try the old finger game. So let's see. Oh my God, that color is everything in the whole entire world look at that i swear this like coral color on tan skin is everything in the entire world oh, oh my god i love that this is so pretty can you guys hear me petting my cheek it's like going on so good. I was afraid it was gonna like lift off all of my foundation because I don't know, you never know, but it looks so good, oh my God. I should stop because I'm known to apply way too much blush, but I feel like it fades so quick. So that's why I always apply a lot. Maybe we'll just add a little bit or maybe we should save this for the lip. Should we save that for the lip? That could be cute. Let me just take a little bit. I just love that, it's like a nude-ish color so let me just like mix it okay okay that is simply stunning if i do say so and i'm just gonna take a little bit add it to my nose let me try the highlighting stick i'm just so amazed right now that like on the back of my hand that is like insane this is like a dupe for the nude sticks one that i just said i was obsessed with it's really pretty, similar in color. I wouldn't say the exact similar, I think this one's a little bit lighter, but holy guacamole, this is dope. Dope. I'm just gonna go in with my setting spray. This is Iliot, it's not from the drugstore. I just refuse to put any other setting powder on my face these days. So I'm gonna set my under eyes and like uh, my mouth area. But I do feel like that um, foundation set down pretty good. Didn't move around when I was applying anything, so that is always a good sign. So next I'm gonna go in with this face palette from Milani. This palette, I mean, this does not look drugstore. This is so freaking gorgeous. It's the Luminoso Glow. Illuminating face, cheek, and eye palette with eight complementary highlighting shades, rich bronzers, rose gold, and coral pinks. 
So I'm not really seeing a bronzer in here for me, but I am gonna use this on my eyes because it just looks so pretty. So actually scratch that really quick. I'm gonna apply my bronzer and then I'm also gonna use this as a shadow. So this is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in the Deep Shade. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this and I'm super tan right now, so I don't even know if this is gonna show up on me, but I don't really have any new drugstore bronzers or ones that I actually like enjoy. So it's basically the same color as my skin. So it's not really doing a whole lot, but that's okay. Then I'm gonna take that bronzer and pop it in my crease. And it's just gonna be a super simple eye look. Like I don't want it to be anything crazy or dramatic, but I do want a little bit of peachy tones in there. And please excuse my brows. I have not groomed them recently. I'm also taking that on the lower lash. So I'm gonna take this color up here. It's a really pretty pinky coral. And I'm just gonna put that right on my lid. And I have not used this by the way, but I'm hoping it's good. This color reminds me of NARS Orgasm for sure. Then I'm going to take this color over here. It's a little bit darker, a little bit not as bright. And I'm just going to see if I can add some dimension to the outer corner. I don't know if it's really going to do much because all the colors are pretty similar in tone and darkness. Um, but I do really like that. So I think I'm just going to add a little bit to the lower lash. but I really don't want to do a whole lot else because I, I really like how this looks. It's going to go back in with the bronzer a little bit and blend it. Then I'm going to take this light pink here and I'm going to add that to my inner corner. And then a little bit right just underneath the brow. Then just to set the highlight on my face, I'm gonna take this color right here and just set that a little bit and intensify it. Then I'm just gonna dab this brush kind of just like in this corner and just lightly sweep it on my cheeks just to kind of set that area. So then for my eyes, I'm not gonna do false lashes. You can if you want, but I just don't really feel like it. So I'm gonna be using this new mascara from NYX. It's the On The Rise Volume Mascara. I love this, love this, love this. It's so good. This is what the brush looks like. Nothing like crazy, but I just really love it. It really volumizes, lengthens, and lifts your lashes. And that's everything I look for in a mascara. I actually don't even use eyelash color first with this. I will use the curler afterward. I mean, do you see that lift? No lash curler was used in the making of this video thus far. It just, are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? On the rise, that's one coat. That's one coat or let's add another. I just love this mascara so much. It's definitely a drier formula, which I love. Okay, okay. And then for my lips, I'm just gonna use something very natural and close to my lip color. This is NYX Nude Beige. And I think I'm honestly just gonna use one of these sticks for my lips just because they're so pretty. So I think I'm gonna take Aloha. So I'm just gonna put some on my finger and then apply. Or just go, you know, straight in. So that's really pretty. I'm just gonna add a little bit of the brighter one. That's super pretty. Also a color I got in the mail. I don't really need to add another one, <laughs> but this color is very similar as well. It is a liquid lipstick. This is the L'Oreal Les Macarons in the shade Guava Gush. I guess we could add a little bit of that as well. I mean, why not? So 
so pretty. I'm in love. I'm in love and I don't care who knows it. And it doesn't make my teeth look yellow. Sometimes with peaches, they can make your lips look like a freaking banana and we cannot be having that. So I'm very into this look. I must say I'm very into this look. I'm just gonna set that with this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Coconut 3-in-1 spray. And that shit comes out like a freaking faucet. All right, so here is the finished look. I just threw on some hoops to amp up the look, but I love how it turned out. So peachy and fun and springy. Nope, summery is the word that I was going for. Bronzy on the skin and also very affordable. So we can't really go wrong there for a nice summer look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Never mind. You probably, you probably don't want me. Because you always must know my order. Anyways. <laughs>